the Gay Tourism Project is a project by the Tel Aviv Municipality and the Ministry of Tourism um, with the aim of marketing Tel Aviv as a desired um, tourist attraction to young Western gay men. Um, that project, it's been recently revealed, has received a budget of 11 million shekels this year, um, which is almost 3 million US dollars. Um, I, I think that all of the organizations in the Jewish Israeli community combined, all the LGBT organizations, receive a total budget of maybe a hundred or two hundred thousand shekels by comparison, which really shows the government's motivation here, um, which is, you know, it's not just symbolic, it's also um, financial and capitalist. Um, and I think it really emphasizes the, the way that um, what it's really after is an image, not actual concern for our communities. Um, it's, it's a lot more about marketing Israel and creating a certain type of discourse around it, but it's not about changing reality in any way. It's not about um, trying to, to make this a better place for us to exist in. It's, um, it's, it's a very cynical usage of our communities as, you know, as, as poster people. Yeah, so a few years ago, maybe two or three years ago, Moshe Feiglin, who was then in the government, uh, published an article actually saying um, that homosexuality harms the Jewish nuclear family um, and Jewish uh, nationality as, as an extension. Um, and, and I think that's part of a lot of you know, that, that sort of tension between, in, in particular Israeli context, between militarism and LGBT, but on the other hand, it also provides a lot uh, of potential and, you know, actual power to homo-nationalism, which is... Um, the incorporation of homosexuality, of certain types of homosexuality, mainly cis and white, um, the incorporation of that into the, the national narrative um, in order to, to justify and reinforce um, nation building and uh, military aggression. Um, and, and, I, and I think the, the gay community, the mainstream gay community in Israel has really used that um, and, and adopted that. Um, so there is a lot of talk about gays in the military. And the community is very active in manufacturing itself as Zionist, as complicit in the occupation. Um, as an active part of the occupation because in Israeli society the easiest way into the heart of the mainstream and into social acceptance is through militarism. Hegemony is hegemony because um, when you adopt the dominant views you get more resources and in order to get more resources you need to adopt the dominant view which is why the community is of course dominated by you know, all of that.